for this tutorial, I wanted to use uh, part of Obama's signature because it's quirky and I think it would look good in a folded book. Uh, showing you what you want to look for, uh, the simplest possible pattern is going to be one in which every stripe is a whole fold or is one level. So you would fold on, on the heart. This is a very simple pattern. You would fold one page, this stripe, the next page, this stripe, the next page, this stripe. Now it's going to get a little more complicated when you have more than one level. For example, the S or E uh, or sometimes the A are going to be have three levels. Uh, right here is just one level each. Then you get to here and it's two levels. So what do you do? You fold one stripe, say the black here, you move over one and do the white down here. Move over, do the black, move over, do the white. Then you get to three levels right here, one, two, three, and you're just going to keep moving over one stripe per fold. So white right here, black right here, white down here, and you keep moving over that way. You do not fold all three black, black, black on the same level. You have to keep going forward or this S is going to just stretch out forever. Here. So, okay, we, we go to view image. So all we have is the image. Right click, copy, and then go to your Photoshop. And we are going to file new from image from clipboard. Okay, now we begin to work on this. I'm going to blow it up, erase the parts that I don't want. Actually, before this, just copy this layer, duplicate the background layer. So we, we always have the original down here. Look over on the right hand side. I'm going to uh, make that one disappear from view and just work on this uh, visible layer. So here I am just deleting the stuff I don't want. Select only the part that I'm going to work with. And image crop. There we go. Now I am using a uh, Wacom tablet. It's hard to get detail with a, with a mouse. So I'm using my Wacom tablet that has a pen. You can trace this and make it nice and smooth um, to, to get a better pattern. Okay. Okay, bear with me. I have to talk my way through this. Uh, I actually have to resize this image first. I want this to be 11 inches wide because that's the size that we're going to print out. So resize image size, go to inches width, make sure that the uh, constrained proportions are down, is, is a check mark down here, and we're going to type in 11 inches. Okay, now we can go back and just start uh, smoothing this out, making it wider. You could also, let's shrink this down. Here's an option is to select, magic select. This is uh, Photoshop Elements 5 that I'm using. I don't know what other Photoshops call this, but uh, magic select is just going to select everything in that color. So we've got that nicely selected. Let me see, I want the rest of that signature selected. Then select, modify, expand. Let's say by five inches on either side. There, that makes it nice and fat. It'll make a nice pattern. And there's these lumps right here in the selection. Let me see if I can increase that for you, which I don't like right here, so I'm going to delete 
that selection. Smooth that out. I don't like mask. I like the selection tool. And then take the black, uh, take your brush, make it really fat, and just color all of that in. Now this is, uh, we'll simulate Obama signing with a Sharpie. Nice fat signature. Okay, I could use it just like this, but I think I will smooth this out some more. So deselect everything. And I'm going to make a copy of this also. Layer, duplicate. Okay. Always have uh, your previous layer so that you can um, go back to it if you mess up. Then I'm just going to delete Okay, so I just went down to the thrift store and found the book that I'm going to use and I'll tell you what this book has going for it. Uh, what it doesn't have going for it is, is that it has a soft cover that has to be fixed because you need a hardcover book to make your uh, folded book or else it won't stand up at all. This has, however, 600 and... 636 pages, which means 318 folds. 318 folds. So you take the number of pages, divide it by two, and that's how many stripes you are going to need. That's that's quite a bit. It's going to uh, do beautifully for for the signature. Uh, the other thing it has going for it is the, the height. It's nice and tall. Um, and that signature has a, a, a vertical reach that is uh, uncommon. So that is something in favor of it. Uh, what else? The pages are, are very thin, easy to fold, and they will hold the edge nicely. A lot of uh, paper books have kind of crusty pages and when you fold it 
they crack at the very point. This one is going to hold uh, a very crisp edge when you fold it. Uh, so that is another thing it has going for it. And therefore I'm going to use this book. I'm going to measure uh, the height of it. And that will be the height of the pattern and by 11. Okay, I showed you the book that I'm going to use and now I'm back uh, at the pattern. We've got 11 inches wide. The book is uh, 9 inches tall. Uh, overkill, I only need 5 inches of height so that'll be nice. It'll sit in, in, the, in the middle of the book instead of straddling the, the whole uh, vertical span of it. Okay, now I'm going to go find the background since I have 636 pages I'm using this 640 page background. I'm just going to drag that over and copy go over to this and paste it in the background that is not correct. Undo paste. I probably have. Let's check on the resolution of this. There's 250. So I need to change this to 250. To 50. Okay. Now, I should be able to paste that in. There we go, 600. Move this layer over here. Look on the right side. Move it behind the signature. And I'm going to decrease that by a couple stripes. No. I wanted to decrease this one. Squish this one down a bit. There we go. That means that it's about 630 stripes instead of 636. I can leave a couple pages at the beginning and end. Now Make sure your cursor is on this, you are sitting on this layer, on the signature layer, the image, whatever image you're working with. Magic wand tool or the select tool. You select everything that is not actual signature. Let me show you what is being selected here. No. Now you place the cursor with everything selected here you're going to place the cursor or select the background layer and just edit delete now if you hide the first layer what you have left is your striped pattern this now has 600 or 300 and some what 18 or 312 probably stripes but it's going to be hard to fold with only uh, this much space left at the beginning so I'm going to select this right here and just squish it in a bit it's not going to alter how many how many uh, stripes it has so we are fine that just makes it easier to use that template when you're folding the book. And print. Save and then print. Alrighty, first thing you need to do is create a little tab at the top, which is going to hook on to the back of the book or the, uh, the top of the book. This is going to keep all your letters vertically aligned. going to use straight edge to make sure this is 
straight across. Skipping the first couple pages here. And tuck it behind the page that you're going to fold, like so. The tab hooks onto the top. And pull this all the way to the first stripe, making sure that top is nice and hooked on. Okay. And fold. First one is a white stripe, which you can't actually see, but I know it's there. Uh-oh. Hang on. First I have to mark, put a tick mark at the top so that they're all evenly folded at the top and then mark from the bottom with a pencil so I can also see where to fold it to at the same spot at the bottom. Okay, now I can start. A couple pages in, put the pattern inside, hook it to the top, Bring it all the way to the stripe that you're working on. And put my fingernail right there and match it up to the tick mark at the top. I'm not too concerned about getting exact up there, but this will approximate so that all the pages are fairly even at the top. And the bottom. I don't need a tick mark at the bottom because I can see the pencil mark with my eyes and it's too difficult to turn the book all the way around so I can see this side. That's why I make a score at the top. Okay, so the first stripe is done. Take a pen or pencil and mark the stripe that you did. Move on to the next one. I have several other video tutorials showing how to do this on my website DIYPix.com or DIYPixie.com Hold my finger there in the center of that stripe and follow my eye up there too. Once you fold this you don't unfold it extremely hard to fix something that you folded badly unless it's folded really badly so you're way off then you can fix it but if it's just slightly off it's very hard to fix okay number two do the black one go on to the white one hook it at the top hold fold match the tick mark up there and press iron it down with your fingernail or if you don't have fingernails get a bone folder and this is how you turn a digital pattern into a 3D book art On the top one, now I have to go down to the bottom, over one. So it turns out 
I'm doing white on top and black on the bottom. That makes it easy when it's only two levels. little helpful hints. One is put a non-skid pad under the book to hold it, keep it from sliding around. And another, I have now arrived at a point where my page is about to cover the little tick mark here. So I am just going to cut a couple inches off the beginning here. Keep going. I have another helpful hint. We're coming to the close, uh, close to the end of the book, and it's kind of narrow here. It's kind of uh, thin, and my tab is starting to bump against the the back of the book or the the uh, countertop. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that tab and cut it down to half that size, and keep going. <laughs> 